What's up folks, Ethan here at Hunt Ford in Franklin, Kentucky, and today we're taking a look at our very first 2023 Super Duty. Now this one came off the truck just yesterday. We've got it cleaned up, we've got it checked in, and we're ready to take a quick look at it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna cover all of the new changes for the 2023 model year. Of course, this is an F-250 Lariat. So this is gonna be right around that middle of the F-250 price range. So we're gonna talk about some of the new changes specifically for this Lariat, as well as kind of some of the changes that they did for the Super Duty going forward. Of course, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so down below and hit the notification bell. We've got lots of Super Duties coming in over the next few weeks. We've got an F-250 trimmer coming in. We've got a 450 in both the XLT and a Lariat. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Go ahead and subscribe down below. Of course, if you have any questions about the new model year for the Super Duty, we'd love to answer them, so let us know down in the comments. But that's enough of me sitting here talking. Let's go ahead and check this one out. All right, so Ford redesigned this truck pretty much entirely. They're saying this is an entirely new truck from top to bottom. Of course, this whole new grill is different from the previous model year. This one is a chrome package on the Lariat. So obviously it's gonna have these chrome accents on the grill. A whole new headlight design. Obviously, some of these changes take a little bit of getting used to. What do you all think? One thing that's really interesting is that it's got this texture to these running lights here on the side that I've not really seen before. And so that's kind of interesting that they introduced that. It's a minor detail, but they've done that in this truck where they've got a few minor details that just kind of add little accents and just kind of add little moments of where you're like, huh, that's interesting. Of course, if you go around the side here, you'll notice the completely redesigned badge. This is really interesting since they just moved the F-150 and the Maverick to match the previous badge and now they've introduced a new one on these Super Duties. I'm sure there was a engineering aspect for this maybe to give a little bit more venting for the engine bay. So you've got your black model logo and then you've got your trim level up at the top. Moving back, you do have your chrome mirror caps, running board, and everyone is talking about these. So these are the new side steps that come standard on these Super Duties. A lot of people have talked about other brands having these and how it's kind of hit and miss on whether Ford should have added them. A lot of our truck buyers here at Hunt Ford typically use these trucks a lot for work. And I think it is a really welcome change to be able to reach inside the bed to be able to access things a little bit easier from the side. And it's really interesting because right here in line with the step is actually textured to give you a little bit better grip. Of course, this truck does have the bed liner from the factory. It's got the tailgate, the easy open tailgate that's actually remote with the bed lighting. And of course your D-Link tie down spots in the back. Again, another moment where you've just got a better grip spot. So when you put your foot up, you've got a place to hold on to. So little details like that are really nice. Here's the look at the tail lights back here, as well as the new bumper design. They did make a couple changes to the badging on the side. The FX4 looks just slightly different. You really wouldn't notice it until 
you take a look at a truck next to it. <clears throat> now this is a gas truck. This is the 7.3, which is now standard on the Lariat. You've got a two-tone interior here. You've got this darker gray with the tan on the inside. I think it looks really nice. This is one of my favorite kind of patterns they do with the F-250. One thing that looks really distinct and caught my eye almost immediately is so they still have the 12 inch screen in the front, but they've now made this that goes along the top a solid square dash rather than having the hump for the screen and then the hump for the dash. So I like that they kind of made it a bit more, I don't know what the exact word is for it, but they made it a bit more square. And I think it's a lot better looking for this design. Of course, this Lariat does have the B&O audio system. They also made the 360 camera standard for the Lariats. So what do you think? This is just our first look at these new 2023 Super Duties. Again, we've got plenty more coming in over the next few weeks. Got a couple trimmers, a couple dualies. We're gonna show them to you as they come in. These are all customer orders. We don't have much coming for the lot for stock because there were so many people that were interested in ordering. We are still available to order. There are certain trim levels that are not available, like the higher trim levels. But as always, you can reach out to us and we will happily answer any of those questions you've got about ordering. So yeah, this is just a quick look at the 2023 Super Duty. A lot of new changes. We're gonna go over those a little bit more in detail over time. We just have a little bit of a quick turnaround for this truck in particular. We've only got a full day to really take a look at it, but we will have plenty more opportunities to take a look at this new redesign. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer them as well as take a look at them in future videos. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so down below and hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. It's one of the easiest ways for you to tell us which videos you liked and which ones to bring you more of in the future. That's about all I've got for you today, folks. We've got more coming out in the next few weeks. Stay tuned.